house. I was just sitting down to make a couple of tabs and I thought I would show you guys how I do it. I get asked a lot, um, where'd you buy your tabs? How'd you get your tabs? Um, pretty much all the, I think all the tabs I have in here um, and generally in my books are just ones that I made. I use stickers from various places. Um, sometimes I'll actually buy, you know, tabs. Um, but I always stick them onto a plastic post-it tab because then I can reuse them, I can move them around. So I made these little, oh I do not know if they're going to show up, I have to be right in front of the big window because it is so crummy outside today. I made these little stars last night and it was getting really late so I put everything away and I thought today I would show you how I make a couple more. I'm going to use um, a sticker from Planner Kate, it looks like that, it says plan on it. Okay, so I'm going to use one of those, and then I use plastic post-it tabs, um, scissors obviously, and I like to cover them with packing tape. Um, I've used, you know, regular like scotch tape, gift wrap tape, that kind of thing, which works fine. It does. The packing tape holds up a lot better. Um, the packing tape is a lot clearer. Even I've tried like the really super clear scotch tape. The packing tape just tends to be a little clearer. It's a little, little bit thicker, so it tends to be a little more durable. Um, doesn't dry out if you have scotch tape on something for a super long time, you know, it'll dry out. So um, personally, I prefer packing tape over them. So all I do is take the sticker, stick it on the plastic post-it tab at the top, cover it with packing tape, trim it down to size. That is it. But I'm going to flip the camera down and show you exactly how I do it with one of those little Planner Kate stickers. So that is where all of those little tabs have come from. And it's a really nice way to kind of reuse your stickers. So there goes Liam. So I will show you guys how I do that. Okay. Bye. Okay guys, so here is how I make my tabs. I use plastic post-it tabs and stickers. I've used all kinds of stickers. I'm going to use a Planner Kate one that says plan today. Um, I've used um, a lot of these that are in here right now are from Berry Patch Papery on Etsy. Um, and I actually started to prep a couple of them and realized I didn't know what I was going to write on them yet. So I didn't want to obviously cover them up with tape because that I wanted to be able to write on them and have the writing underneath the tape. So we had to start this over. Um, so here's what I do. I just take plastic, post-it tab, packing tape, scissors, and sticker. Okay? So hold on bud, one second. So there is my sticker. You guys are going to laugh when you see how easy this is. I just get it near the top of the plastic post-it tab and as straight as possible. Easy peasy, right? And then I take a piece of packing tape and this one I will actually trim down to size. So I'm going to take this piece of packing tape and cut it in half or probably a third even. I like to use packing tape because it's durable but it's pretty flexible. Um, I mean, you can, I've used, you know, gift wrap, you know, scotch tape type of stuff before, but the packing tape, for at least my experience, has always worked the best. And then you take your, of course, I got a smudge underneath my tape. I'm going to flip this over. Take your packing tape, lay it on top of the sticker. It'll help it, you know, stay stuck there. It'll reinforce it. And then I fold it down the back, and this one's going to be quite long, so I will actually trim a little bit more of that off as well. Just fold that down like so and give it a good squish. Get any little air bubbles out that you may have gotten in there. And then I just trim it to size. So I want this one about here. The extra bits I will use. You guys know I've made a gazillion of these um, planner stickers, tabs, you know, Korean diary stickers. The nice thing about using um, post-its is you can move them around. Okay, there's that, and then I will just trim off this little corner of tape, and then with these you can either trim like along the top, along the letters if you want. I don't know that I trust myself to be that accurate to be able to trim along the top of the letters very well. We're going to try a little bit. Not totally accurate, but close. This is why I kind of tend to stick to pictures when I'm doing these. And that is what it looks like when it's done. And then it's on a post-it so you can move it around. Now like I said, I had started to prep these and then realized I wasn't sure what I was going to label them. So I usually have a couple of these just sitting in my planner. So if I realize I want a tab with a specific label, you know, kind of quickly, I will grab one that I already have done and just write the label right on it. See, I have one sitting right here that's not labeled yet. 
and that is it you guys I stick the sticker on the post-it I cover it with packing tape I trim it down to size and I use it that's it it's super easy um, and I've made a ton of them so super easy super useful and it's a nice way to kind of be able to see there's a whole bunch more and see they do get dirty they pick up ink over time if you print your own inserts so if you have any questions holler and let me know really super nice easy way to um, use yet hoard your stickers if you know what I mean <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon thanks so much